my gorgeous, sparkly, scrumptious, delicious Aquarius. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And today we're going to take a look at what is happening for you in love, your vibe check. All right, so it's Loki, a singles reading. We're going to see what new fishies are swimming at you in the sea of love. Who's out, who's in, who's getting deleted from the database. And uh, it's going to be a mimbo himbo. Anyone between you're going to meet on Tinder on a Tuesday. Or is it going to be the love of your life? Please show me angels, goddess, Aphrodite. What is happening for Aquarius? Aw, Bethel. You're feeling a little bit... Okay, the reading is great, by the way. Let me uh, take this card. The reading is looking really great, okay? But what I do see is something lingering. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of uh, that energy. It is a general energy vibe track. There is a sadness lingering around you, the Eight of Swords. I don't think you understand how scrumptious you are. So maybe you were meant to click on this video today to understand that you are scrumptiousness, okay? I love you, Aquarius. And um, love yourself. Believe in that. You are amazing and you are gorgeousness. Everything is going to be okay. Uh, there was something that was um, in your recent past. It was over before it even started. And that is how it was meant to be. If someone goes to you, uh, it, they have issues in their own life. It's almost like, let it go. Uh, rejection is divine protection for sure. And that's what happened here. Someone, It was someone who was immature and they had a little secret. They didn't tell you about it. So if it was a bimbo himbo from Tinder, anyone in between, that you're feeling like a little bit you know, lost or sad over here, uh, it is someone who did play with your heart uh they didn't mean to but they lied about their status they're not actually single if they just appeared out of your life or broke up with you it's because they're actually not single but they were tempted you know they wanted they they wanted to you know come into a temptation and they you know they they just thought you were scrumptious and they couldn't help themselves you know Seriously, like they could not help themselves. It's a bad energy. It's a lying bit bail. And if it was a more established connection, this person uh <clears throat> This person was a liar and you're better off without them because their love is toxic. They still love you, but it's toxic love and it's best to just uh, move on to past charts new. Uh, Bibi, also, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Aquarius, if you know me a little bit, you already know that I am obsessed with Aquarius. <laughs> I really am. I'm, I, every time, like, you, I'm, I'm sure if I checked, in fact, all of my exes, like, whatever, charts, like, there's always, like, they're either Aquarius, Rising, Moon, uh, you know, like, the, the, the main three is always Aquarius or predominant Aquarius in their chart. It's insane. Uh, also, my friends are Aquarians. I'm about to talk to my friend so, uh, tomorrow. Where I'm going to get to go with my Aquarian friend. So I just love the Aquarius energy. Boo -boo. I'm Scorpio, Sun, and Rising. We're two fixed signs. We like to know, you know, we like to know, are you in or out? Is this a relationship? Is this a bimbo himbo from Tinder? We don't mess around. Uh, and you appreciate truth, and you appreciate honesty, and you appreciate transparency. And so this lingering energy that caused you distress, is because, it was mainly because this person wasn't transparent, and that hurt you more than anything else you didn't like the fact that they disrespected you by lying uh and you do have the queen of wands who is crossing your path right now can queen anyone between the okay but there is passione coming your way oh my god i hit myself on the nose i was trying to be all sexual and was like passione <laughs> Oh my god, I'm definitely more slapstick than, you know, <laughs> porn. Okay, I didn't say porn. YouTube's listening. They're going to censor this video. I didn't say porn. I just said, I, I said slapstick. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> okay, so baby, someone is about to come into your life and be obsessed. Okay, they're going to be obsessed. There's a little kitty here, you know, at your feet. So either some, somebody's kitty is going to be like all for you, your kitty. There's kitties like anyone in between. If someone has something other than a kitty, there's just going to be something very sexual going on here. Like it's going to be sexual to the point where it's like crazy, crazy making, crazy. It's, uh, look, I, I'm not going to lie, okay? I know this is a weird mix of a reading because we started with like a, a someone who hurt you. But trust me, there's nothing as um, beautiful as the distraction of sexual obsession when you're trying to get over someone. I can't, why am I saying all this today? Ah, oh, boo I think I've just been like down with the flu for so long and I do apologize. I'm still coughing with my voice. But it's just lingering, you know? It's a lingering cough from my flu. Um, I will be back to normal soon. <laughs> I think it's getting better every day. <laughs> oh my God, because um, there's communication of love. It's all wands here. You know want, You know what wands mean, right? Like somebody's gonna be holding somebody's. Someone's sitting on something. Maybe even tonight. I don't know, it's Saturday night. 
Um, but there's wants coming in. Somebody's going to want you. If you're not on the bumbles, get on the bumbles because you're about to have like a crazy affair with someone. And it's not and it's not to say that it's just a rebound. It could be more. But I feel like for some reason, look, Blue Angel Love Tarot is all about that soulmate love. But I don't know why this is coming up. That is just going to be so sacrificial. <laughs> tell me more, angels, please, so I can tell my Aquarians who want to meet the, their soulmate. Because, you know, maybe for some of you, there is no ex that, that's lingering. It's just maybe a feeling, you know, maybe you've had a series of um, liaisons or a series of people in your life who have lied to you. And, you know, it's difficult for you to trust on this Eight of Swords energy. <laughs> Let's be serious here for a second. It's difficult for you to trust on this Ace of Swords energy. Uh, but uh, someone's about to cross your path who's going to totally reawaken your passions. And they're going to, you know, allow you to have a little bit of fun, a little bit of joyfulness. Aquarius needs that, you know. Aquarius doesn't like people who are like, you know, heavy, nasty, you know, like brooding. We, we need the lightness. Scorpio too, even though people think Scorpio is like deep and brooding. But that's not true. We just carry that energy with us. So we need the lightness. We, we can't, you know... Two Scorpios dating is often like a tragedy because it's just like too much like suspicion with like FBI dating the CIA, you know what I mean? Like it's too much. But you're about to meet someone who's going to really uplift you. Could be a uh, fire sign. <clears throat> the new person could be a fire sign. <clears throat> I'm getting Sagittarius for some reason. Could be any fire. It's going to be a whole new beginning. You're not even expecting uh, what a beautiful new beginning this is going to be on this full energy. <clears throat> you might go crazy for this person. Where is this leading, please, angels? <laughs> and then <laughs> okay baby i'm not gonna lie i think it's a bimbo himbo from tinder they're going to it's a peasant they're going to worship you they're going to have a little shrine to you it's going to be you're going to be dating for like maybe eight weeks maybe a couple of months it's going to be like crazy explosive passione all right and then it's going to be like and then it's just going to be done you know someone the universe is sending me someone to worship you and it's just like a filler and when that is done another boo boo will come the um Sorry, so you have the Knight of Swords here and the Knight of Pentacles. So a Knight of Pentacles will come <coughs> and that will be your long, next long-term liaison, your next long-term boo-boo. So if you don't want to have a crazy sex sexcapade with someone, you don't have to. But maybe it's just, you know, dating and having fun and being like friends or friends with benefits of someone or just someone who's going to worship you. Let the peasant, there's a peasant in your life who's like wanting to come in. Let them come in. This is uh, putting yourself on the bumbles. There's communication here. So it is someone, it could even be someone who's traveling towards you or someone who you're already friends with that's going to like, you're, you're going to have like a little thing. It's going to be a fling and it's going to be glorious and beautiful, but it's not going to end up being for you. And you're going to then like right after you're going to meet the one and that's going to be your knight of pentacles. You also have the ace of wands here as your crowning energy. Oh my, this is the most like, this is the most sexual reading I've ever done. Um, it, it's just, it's just, I mean, it's just about the bedroom, but bail. like, it's just, this is, this is your time to shine. <laughs> this Halloween, <coughs> this is going to be your Halloween of Halloween, right? This is, I, I don't know why, why is this happening? There is an eclipse coming October 25th. Uh, uh, final series of eclipses for this year. So it could be that it's just going to be, you know, the craziness of the eclipses or something. <coughs> Yeah, look, I feel like the message here is telling you, like, the universe, your angels, your guides are telling you, now is your time to have that experience, to have the experience, you know, maybe it's like you're going to meet someone who's, like, a lot younger than you, you're supposed to sample that, or you're going to meet someone who's, like, very different to your usual type, you're just meant to have fun um, and be worshipped, six, six of wands, <laughs> wands again, <clears throat> It's just being seen. It's allowing people to see your value and tell you how scrumptious you are because that's a good experience to have. Sometimes things are not meant to last forever. They're just meant to like, you know, uh, big up your ego and make you feel fantastic because, you know, someone didn't make you feel fantastic before. This is the liar. This page was a liar. Uh, and, you know, you're meant to meet someone who's going to big you up, get you ready, all prepared, all prepped up, okay, all peppy and preppy for your new person who's going to be a soulmate coming in. I feel like a soulmate is very fast-moving energy. This is uh, this reading. I'm doing it in October 2022. It's the 16th today, Saturday or 17th. I, I lost track of time. <coughs> But this boo-boo who's coming in, 
uh, is meant to be entertainment before someone more serious comes in. And I feel like the serious person will come in Capricorn time. So it's going to be around Christmas time quite possibly. That's the energy that's coming through. Don't shoot the messenger, Aquarius. Just go out there and have fun and put yourself out there because you're not going to meet anyone if you're just not putting yourself out there. We all know that. We have also, uh, take uh, everything in the readings uh, as it resonates for you. I'm just a random bimbo on the internet. Anyway, <coughs> with an inflatable alien in the back, so what do I know? Uh, anyways, boo -boo, I love you so much. Thank you for spending your time with me. I'm always so grateful for your energy, Aquarius. If you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe? Turn on the notification button and, of course, like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. I'll see you next time at Scriptiousness. Take care of yourself. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay delicious and moisturized. And may the angels protect you. Mm.